page no more L duplicate it again yeah I know I'm addicted to duplicating no comments there why duplicated the wrong one Quite a while actually. <coughs> I look at this. Look at it all coming out. I suggest you really start playing yourself with the sharpen tool or look up the documentation and you will see that the sharpen tool does not create new objects. You can see that it is already present in the image, so I really can't make this myself don't know how to convince you but you just have to try yourself before leaving a comment about that this is fake uh, that I'm just blush, you know and I just should suggest doing it yourself you can see it all the way including some weird colors you can also bring, bring in colors or when they're already there but it can only do something is if it's already there so let me just give you a quick example how this works on colors so I made a new layer that I don't know what it is it's practically an empty thing on something mm -hmm. That's, uh, all right. black should be fine no black is not fine <coughs> let's get uh, blue right. make a line take the sharpen tool you use it like this it re re retains the blue stuff it's not what I was trying to show you I think I should be doing this duplicate layer again let's merge these layers merge layers alright let's go now we have it now let me do this see how the sharpen tool responds to a color so this green must have been already present there or has been mixed up in the process of nasa you know tampering with photos it's pretty obvious i just leave the blue line out there why not it's such a huge image with so much detail in it uh, let me just take a look again let's get back to the sharpener tool here let's go see i've done this area myself i have a new computer while i have done it all manually but you can see a lot more it's a lot easier to recognize what is out there so I know from the pump pump part let's get back to the arm which is right over here let's get rid of the colors it's really easy simple you, you, everybody can do this alright let's get going as you can see your arm is still present as you can see here we got a sort of a shrine this is a uh, road to the top of the mountain and here you have some kind of head statue or whatsoever and along this road you can see here all the all the different structures and all kind of you can see here a, a wall or something like that it really looks like a wall and it's going all the way up until this point you can't recognize a wall and this is all being uh, smudged out if you want to have a quick look on how NASA does this so let's just show you I haven't done this for a while but make another copy again because I'm a freak how do you do that again that's the patch tool see a nice uh, piece of ground here I would like to cover this stone up so let's do that the other way around I would like to get this out hey that's an arm if you can see it's, it's very interesting so you know who's who's gonna notice that's exactly how they are doing it it's, it's it's very common it's not that hard you can spend a bit more time making this look a lot more professional or finding areas that exactly match the surrounding area now let me quickly take a look at this arm because it's just very interesting to see this I haven't seen this myself 
So that's the four fingered arm. <coughs> so I, I don't know what, what do you think guys? It really does look like an arm. Here's again an interesting structure. I can see this immediately by, by the lines here. Here another line. Here another line. It's flow um yeah, I remember this place. Some kind of floating platform. It's very interesting as well. Can't say it more than enough times. Right, let's get going. Bit dark areas. I know that my uh brush is too large but I'm just doing this on the go you can spend a lot more time bringing this forward making this more clear more sharp whatever you want and as you can see we're getting interesting results and like I said before I, I usually don't use a sharpener tool prefer to have the original as you can see it's very unclear you wouldn't recognize that something is right here so why don't we just do the original it's a lot more clearer than having that sharpener pro tool it has its functions i had it set on structure so you would find interesting spots like we found that little city down right on the screen as you can see it almost looks like a spaceship or base or whatsoever whatever you want to call it And that stuff you have never seen in your life without this tool. I'm quite sure that NASA themselves are, you know, that, that they know about this tool because it's just so obvious. It's like almost, you know, for me, it's like these tools have been made to debunk NASA, really. And I have all the wrong settings here but like I said I just have a new computer I haven't done this for a while I have been uh, on vacation for uh, three weeks four weeks who knows not keeping track of time still I'm on vacation well not really that's that's just like but all right lots of stuff to do actually don't have time to be uh, making YouTube videos or setting up a whole channel but this is something I was really eager to doing this a lot sooner as you can see we found another interesting object there just seem to look like pipes or something and they are floating as you can see here they are leaving a shadow it's very symmetrical uh, normally also all right, before I forget to finish this video found a uh, nice place here again the sharpener pro tool thing again just to show you I try to think in 3d when you look at this area this is of course much higher than this area here so you can see that this is a some kind of roof just like the Egyptians made in old times they put beams on the roof of their houses to, m to make uh, make the house you know as support beams so these are support beams for for their roofs or something like that and as you can see this here this looks looks like a um, statue a, a entry shrine or something like that you get in here and you can you have this whole structure here looks like an old broken down temple or a city you never know <coughs> let's take a look at the original again <coughs> sorry and bring this up uh, bigger again I'm just going all too well you see I made this a lot too bright but you know 
just do it yourself I'm making this video so you will try it yourself it's really amazing you can find gigantic skulls cities pyramids everything you want and they're crystal clear or at least for me <coughs> great example too of oh this is set to highlight so that explains the whole situation here <coughs> really thinking why is it doing so weird acting weird all the time so now you can see the statue a lot more clear just just take a look at this you see here two arms a elongated head <coughs> this is a uh, sort sort of Egyptian sitting chair with the Pharaoh's head when they made the statues and, and stuff like that made a mistake over there I was getting used to the new Photoshop I've been working with CS4 and CS5.5 for the longest time ever since its release and I just made a step to go to CS6 even though I had 5.5 I usually reverted back to CS4 because I'm just really used of I can get really used to stuff let's just put it that way So what do you think? It definitely look like looks like a uh, multi-level structure. I have no idea how high this is. It's just so strange as you can see here the symmetry. Let me get this again. This and this is just so symmetrical. It's like a, a view entrance here. Take a look at the shop again where we can find more. It's, it's just full of this stuff it's just I think they also just made a mistake by releasing this but it's their own problem really makes us happy you know yeah, I definitely would like to try to show off to do the special area by hand right here or have we done that already with colors right let's go Strange stuff, isn't it? So like I said, you you can really look deep down in there. That looks interesting. It looks like a face looking sideways. Never seen this before. It's such an interesting picture. I hope someone really takes a close look other than me at this image. Yeah, you can see the eye, the nose, the uh, mouth with teeth, and a uh, head. It's almost like you're, like you're being fooled, it's just unreal. I sometimes don't even believe anymore what I find myself. I'm getting crazy over it, you know, just kidding, well, I'm just, I'm just fine. Alright, I think I'll call that a day. Thank you for watching and uh, please subscribe, need some subscribers. And I'll make some more videos if you have any questions. 
ask me feel free to ask I usually don't look in my inbox but I try to look in my inbox just try to respond to a uh, comment I have uh, put down below so be sure to check the link down below and uh, check out other people's channel what's up in the sky 37 and uh, Robert Pitanel has uh, excellent videos it's thanks to him that I have uh, started doing this on my own and I've uh, well I'm trying to perfect my own technique trying to make my own way of working and and etc etc be sure to check out Robert Pitanel and what's up in the sky 37 and uh, well that was it hope to see you in another video